Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of the Cologne Podcast. My name is Mike. And my name is Ryan. And we're just two lovable best friends going on a fragrance journey, smelling stuff, and giving our uneducated opinion on it. That's right. And today we have a ceiling <laughs> fan on because it's hot as hell outside. So <laughs> Yeah, so if you hear any... <laughs> We don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's too hot to care. <laughs> Today, we're taking a look at a fragrance that Ryan bought, Blind Bot, mm. full, big, juicy bottle <laughs> of Armani Code Perfumo. Yeah, have you ever seen Bird Box? Uh uh. <laughs> You ever seen Bird? What is it? Bird Box? That's what it was with Sandra Bullock. Yeah, the one where everybody wears the bandana <laughs> or the thing around their eyeballs. He killed the balls. joke, people. I'm sorry. What was I supposed to say? Yes? Uh, I don't know. But yeah, that's basically what I was doing. I was online, freaking blindfolded, <laughs> fucking clicking buttons, and this is what we came to. <laughs> well, there you go. I'm excited to try it. <laughs> Because you've been looking for it. Every time we go into a store, you're always like, hey, do you have that? And they never do. It has been sold out. And just so everybody else is clear, too, because I love Giorgio Armani's Aquadigio Profumo, that bad boy is on back order on the middle bottle and the lowest and highest bottle of that. It's just not there. It's out of stock. Wow. Yeah. You can't find that shit anywhere. Not in store or online, really. Unless you go to like some like eBay. And this is where I got this. I got it at eBay. And I'll tell the price later, but I got it at eBay. <laughs> okay. Well, let me tell you somebody who probably bought it at eBay too. <laughs> Spastic Inc. off of Fragrantica says, oh, look, it's another overpriced Tonka Sweet scent. Oh, what the man. fuck? Oh, God. Yeah. So, what I've been telling Mike for the past couple of days is I'm really worried about this one because I wanted it because I wanted the root beer. I want the, the evanescence or whatever the word, <laughs> evanescence of. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> one of this bubbly root beer flavor, but everybody, everything else I've read is like Tonka and super sweet. They compare it to Lamal's uh, Ultra Mall. I'm like, God, if it's that, I'm going to fucking. Oh, man, that is going to be sweet. Yeah. You know what else would be sweet? Our one night standard. <laughs> <laughs> of Jeffrey Beans, <laughs> Gray Flannel, that motherfucker RXL209. He begged us to do it, and then he he fucking ghosted us. He ghosted us, man. Yeah, we were like, hey, bud, we did that for you. And he was like, crickets. You know what? Probably not even listening now, RXL, but if you are. Fuck you. We no. did. <laughs> we did it, bro. <laughs> Uh, we thought you loved us. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Hit the music, Dodd. <laughs> yeah. One night stand review. All right. Well, after being in Jeffrey Bean's bed <laughs> all night. Thanks, G off. <laughs> what'd you think of Gray Flannel? <laughs> I like it. I think it's a very masculine, old school type of vibe. It's cheap as hell. Not really much risk. We had quite a few people request decant, so we'll do those. We'll send those out to you eventually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm with Michael on this one. I was like, it's honestly the opening is very harsh. I don't really care for that. I like the opening. I'm shocked because it's usually a switch with us. But uh, yeah, it felt just too harsh to me. But after that, that dry down for $14, shit's pretty baller. I not actually bad. liked it. Don't let us overhype it because it's not worth overhyping. We're not trying to overhype this at all. But yeah. it's a decent fragrance. Yeah, it is decent. For 14 bucks, it's pretty damn decent. Yeah, not think. much of a risk. There you go. No big risk. Jeffrey Bean, uh, Gray Flannel. All right. Scent of the day. <laughs> Ryan has been a good little boy and hasn't cracked open in this box, so you'll hear him shred through the cellophane. Like it's Christmas. Okay. Oh, God. Here we go, buddy. You ready? You think it's gonna? You think I'm gonna love it or hate it? Tell me now. Oh, uh, let's. We're going over under on this one. Yeah. Um. I think there's a damn good chance that you're not gonna like it. I think there is too, and I think Mike's gonna love it. And I'm gonna give me a free bottle of <laughs> Armani Code Profumo. Damn, that bottle's pretty slick, man. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Did I just waste sixty eight bucks? We're about to find out. <laughs> How's the atomizer over there? It's all right. I'm picking it up already. Hmm. Oh, I do kind of get the Ultra Mall type vibe. I do too. 
but I don't feel like it's as sweet mm, as that. This reminds me of something else, though. God, what does this remind me of? Hmm. Very bubblegummy, though. This is not what I thought it was going to be. Yeah, same. It definitely doesn't feel like root beer to me. No. Do you feel like it is at all? No, it is very sweet. It makes me want to go get a root beer after this and just like open it up and smell one because I don't feel like it smells right. like this. Especially like the moxie ones. Oh, yeah. These motherfuckers lied to us on Fragrantica, man. Hmm. Tired of being lied to, man. Hey, Spastic Ink didn't lie to you. It doesn't smell bad, though. It doesn't, but it's hyper sweet. Do you feel like it's as sweet as Ultramol? I don't get that. No, Ultramol is a, a cut above for sure. Man, the cardstock smells pretty badass, though. Kind of powdery, too, on the skin. Okay, I can kind of get the root beer on the card for me for some reason. It may take a second. You know, we're we're kind of burying our nose off in this. Definitely, everybody's acting like this is like fucking mecca fucking sense over here. Like, it's, it's not super loud. No, it's not bad. It does stay. I feel like it stays really close to the skin. I do, too. But, man, I do be liking the card. You know what? The card stock is good. Yeah. Let me go ahead and just put on my clothes here. Yeah. I'm just going to go hammy. I mean, I didn't put on anything today. I don't love the cap. I fucking hate it. I'm not. None of the bottles are okay. There you go. Is that how you normally apply it? Yeah, that's how I normally apply it. Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, that was like 38 sprays. <laughs> Too. That's a uh, normal spray count for me. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> if you lay something like that on red tobacco, I'm fucking shocked, dude. Dude, that's what I do for real. Wow. My you God. You see how quick I go through Todd, bottles. leave all those in there. <laughs> oh, my Lord. That is insane. Man, on the clothes and cardstock, this shit's pretty baller. This might be a raw ass episode. I feel like we're in like weekend mode who cares <laughs> i do prefer it on the cardstock i do too i think it's pretty sick it's super soft into this it's like a skin scent to me on my skin but on the card on the cardstock or my clothes smells pretty good i'm debating whether or not i want to lace up on this i think you should you think so oh that's cheap as hell this like supposed to be wood feeling thing. It's just a little plastic piece. Dude, they did it on that new um, Eau de Parfum on the Aquadigio. The on, cap. Yeah. Yeah, the cap. Cheap. But it, but I mean, that's actual wood, it feels like. That to you? For yeah. Real? Well, feel that. Yeah, it's just, it looks like brushed aluminum or something. It looks dumb. But it's plastic, <laughs> which is even worse. <laughs> Why are you debating if you want to spray it on you or not? Because I kind of like to wear my shirts a few days in a row. <laughs> Man, I think you should go ham, get the full experience. It's a full bottle, dog. It is a designer <laughs> fragrance, so more than likely it'll be gone in a few hours anyways. There you go. Okay. Tomorrow I'll be like, God damn. <laughs> That's how much you spray? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like in is that a lot or a little? That's a little. Well, first compared off, to your shit. First off, he only hit his chest and then his left arm he didn't do any of his neck or traps or anything i'm like <laughs> necks traps arms raja dove said not to do your neck that's sensitive skin i know but i do the traps he says that area yeah get to us roger you uh <laughs> you hit your boulder shoulders dog <laughs> yeah it's not bad i do feel like this does seem pretty overhyped yeah, for sure. I mean, this thing trends absolutely ridiculous on Fragrantica. And like Aquadigio's Perfumo, I have not been able to find a bottle of this anywhere. I had to go online to get it. And I don't even think I got off the... I don't even think they had it on the website either. I can't remember. But I had to go... I went on eBay and got it for 68 bucks. Usually trends about 100 110 So, not too bad. But for 68 bucks, not hating it. There's something to it. It's very sweet. I could see, well, let's talk about it. Who's wearing this? Hmm. A wannabe, Mike. <laughs> a wannabe, Mike? No, like a wannabe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I mean, it does smell good, but I feel like there's things that are done better. I will say that. Yeah. Maybe I bought into the hype too much on this. I just felt a little let down. I don't, it's not a bad smell. Maybe I need to wear it a bit and get used to it, but I don't know, man. I just feel like. Man, it's so soft. It is so soft. For a sweet fragrance, I'm shocked that this isn't stronger than it is. 
hundred percent. And maybe that's a plus, but it is super soft. I don't think it's like confined to just the younger audience though. There's like a um a vibe powderiness about it that does make it to where I feel like even if you're in your fifties, you could still wear this fragrance. God, I'm gonna have to have you wear it one day, like and just show up around me or something. Because I feel like it's so close to the skin. I don't know if it's just the sweetness of it that's making me like nose blind to it. It's either that or it's like fading away as we sit here. Yeah, it is crazy. Not a fan of that whatsoever. Man, I'm so fucking disappointed. <laughs> a lot of letdowns these days, huh? <laughs> Tons of them. How does this thing trim so hard? I don't... I, because it's sweet, I guess. That shit is, I don't know. Which, by the way, I've been getting way more compliments on clean smelling fragrances. Like what? Well, like, I don't know that you would consider this super clean, but like the last few fragrances I've worn that I've gotten compliments on has been Elysium a million times. No. Yeah. And Santel 33. That one is amazing, though. And then I've been wearing the x of Baccarat Rouge a lot. I cannot remember. Did we did we do the regular yeah. one or did we do the extra? We did the EDP. So even that though, I remember that we before we even read up on it, we were like, man, this smells like freaking dentist office and shit. But man, it does smell fucking good. Yeah. And somebody was wearing it in the mall about a week or so ago. And I was like, damn, somebody's wearing that fucking Baccarat Rouge and it smells fucking good. And then Mike, I was telling Mike the story, then Mike started wearing it again because he has a little sample of it. Yeah. And man, it smells good on this motherfucker, man. Dude, the x straight has a pepperiness that the EDP, I feel like, doesn't have. I've wore it to a couple of things now. I wore it to an event that yeah. I was doing video on for a friend. And then I wore it to a photo shoot a couple of days ago. Yeah. And the at the photo shoot, one of the ladies just said, what are you wearing today, Mike? Kind of like, <laughs> you know, because she knows I wear so many. And I was like, oh, I'm wearing this. I can't remember if she complimented or not because she's actually a person who really doesn't like fragrances on anybody. Like, yeah. so, the, but I feel like that fragrance is subtle. Like it, you get it, but it's not like, oh God, when, you know, I hit it. it, I've never come in contact with it where I've been like, that was overwhelming. It's always like led me to go lean in a little bit. That's exactly, we were talking about it off air a couple of days ago. We went to the store and I was like, man, just like the first time we ever watched Cuba No, when he was talking about it, to a T, it is that scent. It like puts just enough out there to where it wants you where when people smell it, they want to come in because it's interesting. It's way different. Yeah. And so now me and Mike are like, man, we could go have these on a freaking X straight, man. <laughs> uh, dude, you barely need any. That shirt that I wore, I couldn't wear it today because it's still so strong on it. Yeah. From me spraying two or three sprays on there that I couldn't wear it today to do this episode because I was like, it would choke me out with just Baccarat Rouge. Literally, the shit was screaming on him the other day when he was wearing it. And it's like, he only did a couple of sprays. I'm yeah. like, damn. I mean, that's one of the few fragrances I feel like when people, when people say it's beast mode and all yeah. that shit, like that is to me what beast mode is right like, yeah strong super strong sillage yeah you know where it's just like it's all over the place if you're walking around in the room it's like trails everywhere i think santel 33 yeah and that one are probably number one and number two on that for me so far out of everything we've yeah. ever smelled those two are the loudest somehow but like the softest that's funny because i at first we were like that with greenly but i've wore greenly around you like three times now and you haven't even noticed it. Have it. And I, we both love that scent. But yeah. the first time you wore it. Insane. It was crazy, dude. Crazy. So this profile. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to skip it? Sample it. Or buy it. What are you going to do, Mike? If I'm honest, I'm not even going to ask you for a decant. I'll never wear this. I can't even smell it on my shirt right now. That yeah. Ju- that you just served. We're 16 minutes into this and it's already wore off my fucking shirt. Wow. Yeah. I was about to say on the skin, it is like really soft. Highly disappointed. Wow, man. I hate to say it, dude, but I think you wasted some money on this. <sighs> Let me check something real quick. <laughs> Sell back to buyer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Let me check my email here. Give me one second, guys, (laughs) because this will determine what I think everybody should do. (laughs) Let's see. uh, Profumo. I'm searching my email here. 
I know it's gonna say something like, hey, you can't do returns, bro. You got this on eBay, bro. Dow, look how cheap this is. Damn. It, wait, hold on. Let me see that. I wonder if it's a fake. No way it's a fake. Dude, I don't know, man. You just pulled that fuck. You just pulled the whole fucking top off. Huh. That seems a little suspect, dude. That don't seem suspect to you? I mean, I, wonder if we I got think a fucking- it's just like cheaply made, man. I don't know, bro. I just went to pull the lid off, the brown lid, and it's connected to that cheap plastic wannabe brushed metal looking thing. Yeah. So when you pull it up, look, it kind of separates this. Yeah. And you pull it too hard, it just pull it straight off. Returns accepted through August 23rd. Well, not this guy's fault, but this shit's getting returned. <laughs> Damn, I'm so disappointed, man. I was really wanting this to be root beer. Like, straight up, just a little bubbly in the air, root beer. Look, if you spray, like, a fucking puddle of it on the top of your hand and smell it, it is definitely more root beer. But doesn't it, it smell so but similar? That's because the alcohol hits, too. This smells similar to Ultramall, The Most Wanted, all that shit. Yeah, I was about to say, it kind of has that vibe for sure. It is just very sweet, almost like caramel or caramel. Dude. Man, fuck this fragrance, man. <laughs> this is kind of a bummer episode. And all you on Fragrantica, everybody in the videos, all of them go, uh, it's the new uh, Armani Code uh, Perfumo. This one's got a little bit of a root beer. So when you're walking by, it's going to smell like a root beer float. Nothing even close. Look, even Ryan, as crazy as he sprayed, is not enough to keep the scent on your body. Dude, I Need- can't smell it. How has it gone on the shirt? That's what I don't get. You got to really puddle it up. I'm telling you, take and do about three sprays in the same spot on your hand. God, this shit's so cheap. I did my shirt three sprays too. That was four sprays, but. Oh, well. <laughs> it's a little bit more bubbly evanescence. <laughs> How is this shit sold out everywhere, man? I don't know. You know, sometimes it just takes a good salesperson, Ryan, to dupe the rubes like you. <sighs> well, what did I say? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's my here's my opinion, guys. <laughs> That's why I was looking up everything. I'm returning mine. Yeah. So, I guess I can say with confidence, it's a, it's a fucking skip. Yeah. Skip. Totally. I agree. Unless you're 15, 16 and, you know, your parents say, for Christmas, we'll get you a fragrance, but it has to be at JCPenney. Yeah. Then you can go, oh, I'll take this. And it's not bad. It's a wannabe fragrance. It yeah. really is. It wants to be something that it just can't hang with. <laughs> And I mean, it's really for that money. If you pay retail, hell, if you pay 68 bucks, this thing is just not lasting long at all. You know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to send this shit back and I'm going to go to (laughs) Guerlain's website. (laughs) And I'm going to get, because I don't know if anybody's seen this. I've been talking, John's been talking to me in my DMs lately. John, My John? Yeah, your John. Wow. That's right. Oh, (laughs) my. That's right. Suck it easy, Mike. <laughs> wow. I feel a little betrayed, John. <laughs> but we were talking about, he was- messaging. He's only giving me one word text <laughs> messages back now. I'm like, dear John, how was your day today? Let me tell you about mine first. I had this blah, blah, blah. <laughs> he's like, mine's good. He's like, K. <laughs> <laughs> well, he sent me a picture that he's got a decant of the vetiver that I like so much from Girl On. Oh, yeah. And I was like, man, have you seen- Because I showed Mike the other day, the new bottle design- Sick. It's kind of like their other. It's like the um. What do you call it? Long, idea long. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. What's, what's that it one. called? Audio or audio? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they're like nice and square. They look sick. I'm gonna send this shit back. Get my money, and I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna buy that because I know I love that fragrance. I'm gonna wear the hell out of it this summer. That vetiver is badass. It is super badass and so affordable. Well, it's for some reason it's I don't know because everything, but all the prices have went up on everything. Oh, really? Yeah, that original one I bought was like thirty bucks. Like yeah. minimum now is like sixty something bucks. Damn! Wow. But if I want this bottle, I'm gonna have to get it from Guerlain. It's like a hundred bucks. So. Oh yeah. But I'm gonna spend it, man, because I love slick, that scent. Yeah, that's a good fragrance. Okay. There you go. We skipped it. <laughs> It's both a skip from us, and honestly, I'd have to say, if you're listening and you trust our opinion, don't waste your time or your money. Don't sample this. Don't even look at it. Don't even listen to this episode. Dude, this shit's trash, man. Trash bags. Hate it. 
Okay. If you like other episodes, obviously this episode wasn't the greatest. But We're so if, dejected right dude, now. Dude, this whole episode's kind of whack, but... <laughs> If you enjoy the podcast in general, do us a favor. Leave us a five-star review on whatever streaming platform you consume our content on. That greatly help us. And until next time, spray it up, y'all. Spray it up, (laughs) y'all. Jesus. That shit.